know which side is the right side. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I'm starting to run out of batteries. Yep. Look at me, I'm such a boy scout, I'm running in circles. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Oh, here we go. No, that's 17. 27 with what? Hey there, how's it going? I'm Eric, and this is my third year doing Extra Life. I'm so excited to be doing it once again and raising money for Johns Hopkins University. They saved my oldest daughter's life twice, and through an affiliated hospital, um, they saved my youngest children's lives when they had to be in a NICU from being born premature. This year, I've got lots of great incentives that I hope will in inspire you to donate money to my Extra Life campaign. Uh, first of all, in a first this year, I'm going to be um, donating, matching donations for the first $100. So for every dollar you put in, I'll also put in a dollar. In addition to that, for every dollar you donate, I'm going to be doing sit-ups or push-ups. One sit-up per dollar. So if you really want to make me suffer, donate lots and lots of money and I'll have to do lots and lots of push-ups. Uh, last year, Dan donated a hundred bucks and I had to do a hundred push-ups and boy, was I winded at the end of that. This year, I've got a goal of $500 and I'd really, really like to reach it. This is way more than I've ever tried for, but it's really important to me because it really helps a lot. It helps provide lots and lots of um, healthcare for kids that can't afford it and for, for families that really need it. If we do reach $500, then I'll be coming up with some stretch goals that we can do and see if we can get to a thousand. That would be mind blowing, but if we could do it, think of all the lives you could be helping. Thanks a lot and enjoy this game. Bye. see I've gone to this new um, minimal uh, over, well really no overlay and then over here I've got the uh, the goals of what I'm trying to reach um, still have to work on making that a little prettier but uh, just working on minimizing stuff that's not the game or the video so let's get into the game um, so last time I had just beat up this dude and it was time to take him to the station mm, it's clues time knock over chairs time significant. Okay. A uh, cup. Optimistic call. <laughs> okay. The spoon? No, maybe not. Something over here is making my controller vibrate. Is it the view out the window? 
it was just cueing me to look at the oh, garbage can. Oh, Mystic Tales, huh? Cool. Old school sci fi is awesome. Appear to be connected. random rumbling that uh, doesn't seem to actually lead to anything. More cups. I doubt it. This is the same pier we had before. Incidental. Something here. Not sure what. An apple. This is any use to us. Okay. This thing is rusted to all heck. Anything in there? No. Whoa. Alright. Artie Rosenberg, Psalm, Frank Greer, Clayton, Ted Rossi. names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. <coughs> Call it in, partner. <coughs> and leave the book where you found it. That's not where I found it. Also, you should never Officer stick your Phelps, penis in a hornet's nest. 1247 requesting. That is... Most likely very painful. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, ass swipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. This guy's not very nice. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quick. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Cold. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Am I supposed to be driving? Or is the computer just a complete. No, I'm supposed to be driving. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to drive. Anyway. 
to go. So Dan said there's a way to let your partner drive. The game hasn't told me how to do that yet, so... Oops. You gonna leave the street light intact on this block? Make it quick, you guys oh. are coming here. We gotta move it. Guy had a really weird looking face. Uncanny Valley. Ah, okay. I don't want to. We'll be here soon. Okay. LAPD, put down your weapons. Ah! I got you covered, Cole. Your move. Stay down. Got him. Dang. This bank has some really strong uh, support tools. He shot my head off. Stay in cover. All right, all right. Don't tell me twice. You're fucking dope. Where is this guy? Oh, up there. Headshot. That's it. We got them all. I think we got them, Cole. Okay. It should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends. Their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from the fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bump. Wendell Bauer. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell yeah! Bauer, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. There we go. I was like, why am I dead? not running? Doop doop doop. Hey, 
Oops. Powers, hold it right there. Stop now or I will shoot. I don't see him shooting. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire. Don't Oops. Do this, no, no, up, 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 up dude. I didn't realize it was right just going to keep going up. Give it up, Wendell. Oh, wow, he's climbing up here, too. Do -do 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 -do. You don't want to miss me, I'm a war vet. to ourselves. Oops. Punch, dude. Punch. Punch. Come on, baby, pretty boy. Give it up, Wendell. Boom. Nice. I like that Everman in the background. What are you doing, Wendell? You parole officer <laughs> feeling lonely. Don't throw it. He's like got that. a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Back to the military. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Damn, Kelso. Kelso sucks. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Buyer beware. I love this font. It's awesome. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Forget homicide. Odd daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Hmm. Select the body part eight to examine it more closely. Okay. So he was shot. His head goes left and right, left and right. Okay. Supposed to do his arm. Okay, it's definitely an arm. Let's check the other arm. Oh, it's up here. 
Good shot there. He's missing a ring. There's a ring on the floor over there somewhere. I think that's everything. Nope, not a ring. It's uh, bullets. Golden bullets. Shell cases. These look like 32s. Keep it safe. Drive safely. Did this already, didn't I? Bank of Arcadia. Uh, all right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Ah, so it was layaway. For earrings. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Okay. Let's go in here. None but shoes for men. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Galleta? Her name's Cookie. Clovis Cookie. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. I don't think they're lying. I don't know who shot Gage or why. No, officer. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out! Get out right now! Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Hmm. I guess I didn't have enough proof. So he told me to investigate the whole thing first. And talk to this guy and see. Or maybe not. Let's see. You look like you were a big pain in the neck. Now I have much lower. Ben Browning, serial number 01138. I need to run it by a gun store. We have the murder weapon? But no murderer. The girl saw it all, but she clammed up on it. We can trace the gun. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Let's see if I can get him to drive. Or not. <laughs> it's the next right. So White gets me back out. Does nothing. nothing. These are just different angles. Yeah, I don't know how to get that dude to drive for me. What 
did I tell you about going too hard on the witness? She's a store assistant, not a prisoner of war. Is that supposed to be funny? I'm just saying that sometimes you need to pour some sugar on these broads. What? A little bedside manner can go a long way. And since when are you the expert? We got the murder weapon, didn't we? You shouldn't dole it out if you can't take it, Phelps. She was a looker, though. Tell me I'm wrong. No wonder you're suddenly you're so wrong. obsessed with bedside manner. Well, at least the camera's angle is staying insane this time. Run, dude! Come on, let's go! Haha, <laughs> gotcha. He wants a five-star goddamn wet. Okay, another gun store guy. Officer, what can I do you for? <laughs> Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Is that where it just was? I'm not sure. But I think that's it for today. Um, so let's leave it there. Mm, not sure when the last save was, but uh, it's okay. Sure, sometime after I spoke with that guy. So, there we go. I moved forward on LA Noir and uh, didn't do well my first time on uh, an interrogation, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I was wondering when I was going to get to that since that's the uh, marquee feature in this game. I guess we'll find out as I go forward. Um, so far, it's interesting. They uh, they didn't really follow up on the f earlier um, murder, the one where the guy said not to stick your uh, penis in a hornet's nest. So we'll see how it all ties in, if it does tie in at all. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we're up to 100 bucks, which is great. We're uh, one-fifth of the way there. Uh, any donations that you can make will um, will help to fund uh, Johns Hopkins Children's Center. And uh, there's 50 more dollars where if you donate, I will I will donate in a matching sense and uh, double your money, so your donation counts as extra. Uh, so I encourage you to do that and uh, help save the kids. Anyway, this has been Elaine Noir, and I'm Eric, and I'll see you next time. Bye.